Hi guys, it's Tim from Advanced Link Card Technologies. Hope you're all well. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. So we're working on a brand new 2018 Transporter T6 with what's called the Composition Color. So this is the T6 very entry level uh, stereo um, that gives you sort of digital radio, SD card, color screen, etc, etc. Let me just turn that down. And the main concern with this one is this head unit, as you've probably seen from one of our other videos, um, can't support a reversing camera. Now, it was really important to this customer that he could have a camera that would work with this 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 unit. The only other option was to change the rear view mirror um, for one that's got a, uh, a monitor in it. But because it's got sensors in it, we we don't really want to we don't want to go down that line. So we've done some work and we found a kit that will actually integrate with this head unit. So what we're going to do is um the next clip you're going to see is going to see it all working, looking lovely, moving guidelines. It's an aftermarket kit, um, but that's the only option for this car. But it will work with all of this system. So what we're going to do is we're going to the next clip you see will be it all working. I'll go over it like I normally do in our review videos, just to show that it is possible with this head unit to be able to have a camera using aftermarket parts that will look and feel as genuine as possible with no extras on display. And then the second video that we're gonna do is for those people that will sort of wanna have a go, we're gonna do a video on how to remove this uh, stereo from a T6. And we're also gonna show you the install process um, as much as we can without it being too involved, just to give you a general idea of the sort of work that's gonna be required because this head unit's gonna have to have a new internal PCB board fitted that will allow support of the reversing camera. So the next clip you see will be it all working and then keep an eye out on our YouTube channel, like our channel and all that sort of business uh, and you'll be able to see all the other videos to do with this retrofit that we're going to be doing. Okay so we're back in the vehicle after doing all of our work and uh, getting all the cable routing because it's the tailgate version uh, it's taking a little bit longer um, due to the hole that we have to make for the reversing camera. But I'm really proud to say and really impressed that we've fitted it and it looks and feels awesome. It really does look like the, it's come from the factory of it and considering that the composition color was never meant to have this type of equipment installed into it, it's really gonna open the door up for dealers and people with this head unit when they want a reversing camera and don't want it. So what we'll do is we'll fire the car up. Um, we are inside our workshop today just purely because the weather is so poor, I can't do a video outside. It's just, there's just no point, you won't see anything. Um, so what we'll do is uh, we'll flick it into reverse and I'll quickly show you what you've got. So you probably just saw that, the uh, the flick over there. Um, so we're in a workshop at the moment with quite good lighting. Um, and look, we've got our nice guidelines here. We've had to turn a few things off. Like there was a warning message at the bottom for making sure that you observe like restrictions and all that. So there's no point having that. So we've turned that off. Um, so yeah, we've got moving guidelines. So when you turn the steering wheel, they will give you an intended trajectory of where the vehicle is going to end up. Obviously, for, for obvious reasons, these aren't going to be the same width as your vehicle. Uh, like I said, it is an aftermarket kit, but it is desi it's designed to look and feel um, like a factory bit of stuff. So picture quality resolution um, is really awesome. It's using an NTSC camera and uh, it, it looks and feels amazing. Now, a couple of things to, to bear in mind is that depending on the vehicle, um, you can have the PDC function come up on the left hand or the right hand but depending on the vehicle itself and you'd never know this until we installed it is whether or not it's going to allow that functionality to work correctly um, so in some instances we'll be able to activate it and it'll work fine uh, other instances uh, the car just won't support it so we just turn it off because otherwise there's no point being in there um, so like I said when you turn the steering wheel you can turn left and your guidelines are moving um, and remember this is an aftermarket camera giving this functionality which is which is pretty awesome um, if you pop it into drive um, you then get your this van's got rear parking sensors so then you can go into that and then you can pop it into reverse again and then the image will flick over so um, 
composition color it's got an aftermarket reversing camera interface with our own uh, black mini wedge type camera really good quality uh, wedge camera that we've installed looks very factory from the outside we've got moving guidelines um, obviously if you've got the tailgate you can get it as central as you can the tail the barn door version you can still install this kit into it it's just going to be slightly off center so you have to bear that in mind especially with the guidelines and things like that um, and also we found out that this interface can support a front parking camera so if you thought that you when you went into drive you did want to see uh, what's in front of you because it's quite a stubby nose on the on the T6 um, we can also install that as well at the same time so as mentioned uh, on the previous uh, clip you do have to open up the stereo to be able to integrate this new piece of electronics so we'll be able to do that in house no problems because we've done done this one now and uh, you can obviously send the units to us we can pre-prepare them if you want to or we can just supply the kit and then you crack on with it yourself uh, but yeah really really impressed with this um, the customer is going to be chuffed uh, and we just think that it's a it's a really great bit of kit to be able to give you that integration without having any any other extra screens on display we're using the screen that the car's already got um really chuffed with it um if you want any more information then feel free to comment below and we'll try and help out as much as possible you can get in touch with us through our facebook um our, through our contact form on our website um this is going to be an amazing bit of kit. It's going to change the way that the T6s can now offer these types of cameras. No longer will you have to have a nav system to be able to get a camera installed in your car. Uh, website, as always, is www.advanced-incar.co.uk. If you like this video, make sure you give it the thumbs up. It really does help us. And also subscribe to our channel. We've got loads more uh, T6 content coming over the next couple of weeks. Uh, that's quite exciting. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.